Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to create a class with instance attribute. So we have already covered the details video of all the object oriented programming in our Python tutorial for beginners playlist. You can watch those videos. In this video, we are just creating the class and its instance attribute as a exercise. So basically what is an instance attribute? So instance attribute is anything that is declared inside the class and which varies from different objects of that particular class. So let's start declaring a class. So we will have a class student. So we know how to declare a class. So we need to make use of keyword class and then the name of class. So name of my class is student. Then we need to give colon and inside the class we need to give the proper intention and then we need to define that particular class. So let's first create a constructor inside the class. So we have already covered in detail about the constructors in the constructor video. So constructor is a special type of method which is used to initialize the instance member of a class. In Python, the method init is used as a constructor of the class. This method is called when the class is instantiated. So basically when the class is instantiated means when we create the object of that particular class. So let's define the constructor. So we already know it is declared with the help of init. So here we get that particular method which is init. So this is the constructor here and this particular constructor can take any number of arguments. So it accepts the self keyword. So self keyword is the first argument which allows to access the attributes or method of that particular class. So by default this is the first attribute here and after that you, you can specify the attributes as per your requirement. So inside this student class what we will do we will have two attributes let's say name and roll number. So these are my two attributes. So this constructor will accept two attributes here and here what we will do here we can access that particular variables with the help of self keyword so self dot name is equal to name and then after that self dot roll number is equal to roll number so what here the statements will do whatever name and roll number we will receive while instantiating the class that particular name and roll number we will assign to this variables once we assign this now let's instantiate the class means create the object of the class get out of this class means close the intention here and then let's say we have the student one student one and then we will provide the class name student so this is the object and this is the class name that we have and this class is accepting two attributes name and roll number. So we will provide those two values. Let's say name is ABC and roll number is 10. So in this way when the class is inst instantiated means this particular statement then these two values will be passed to the constructor which is ABC and 10. So ABC will be stored in name and 10 will be stored in roll number and this will be assigned to these two particular variables. Now after that we will print those values print. So how to print those values with the help of this object. So this is the object that we have and we can print here student one dot name. So see we are already getting those variables name here name and after that we will print student one dot roll number. Now let's save this code and run now. So run. So see we are getting here the values ABC and 10 because we have passed those particular values here to that particular constructor. Now let's say if you have the another object here. Now if we create the student2 object student2 student2 then we will instantiate it with the help of class name student and we will pass the values. Now let's say name of student is XYZ 
and the roll number is 20 now when this particular statement will be called again this particular two variables will be having the value of that particular object earlier it was having the values a b c and 10 for the object student 1 now for student 2 again the values will be updated to x y z and 20 here we need to have the class name and now we will print again the values let me copy paste this statement now we will replace the object name student 1 with student 2 student 2 now let's save this and run now so here you can see now we are getting the first print statement which is of student 1 which is having the value a b c and 10 and after that student 2 is having the value x y z and 20 so as these are the instance variables these values will be changed as per the when the particular object is called now what another thing we can do here now let's say we want to have a method here now which is a not a constructor a normal method inside the class so let's say def is the keyword to declare a method and here we will say show and inside this method we will not take any argument here we will directly print the message print in show method and how to call this particular method here so you can call this particular method with the help of object now what we will do with the help of student1 we will call it student1 dot as we provide the dot we you can see here we are getting that particular method so show and now in similar way with the help of student2 also we can call this method because student2 is also the object of student so student2 dot show now let's run this code so see we are getting in both the statements in show method because in that particular method we have only a print message in show method now what we will do we will take one argument or the instance variable here now let's say name now we are taking your name or what we can do instead of taking your name as the name value is already available here inside the constructor we will make use of this name and here we will say uh, in show method and then we will display the name here so how to display the name here self dot name now see what changes we will get here as we run the code so see now what is happening the first statement that we are seeing here print student one dot name and student one dot roll number so this particular values will be printed and for student two this particular values are printed now we are calling a student one dot show as we are calling a student one dot show inside the show method we will have the message in show method and the name so what was the name in student one object so in student one object we have the name abc so that's why we are getting your value as abc and for the second student two we are having the value here as xyz so in this way you can declare a class and create the object of that class so you can create n number of objects from this particular class and make use of instance variables and methods as per your requirement so that's it in this video we will cover another exercises of object oriented programming in next video thank you for watching